Hey everybody, this is Echo Papa, and today we're going to be talking about the mixer section in Virtual DJ 8. Um, now, the main mixer section, it's not unlike the, the mixer uh, in an analog system. A lot of the functions work the same. So some of these uh, controls, like the EQ and things, we're just kind of going to breeze over real quick. But um, someone had uh, posted in the comments, they had a question about the, the master part of the skin. And so we'll go over that. Uh, and also, we're going to talk about uh, the, the four channel. Uh, section of the mixer because it is slightly different uh, from the four channel uh, than when you're using the two channel but uh, let's start off here with the master section now oh and also let me uh, uh, point out real quick if you see some of the controls moving like um, uh, the volume levels uh, it's it's just me uh, I have a controller hooked up to it uh, tonight so uh, you may see some of that stuff and that's just uh, that's just me the um, uh, let's go right to the master now over here let's start off with uh, this is the main volume right here now if you're playing with uh, an external uh, mixer uh, like I, I usually play with an external mixer uh, you want to set that that master uh, all the way you know uh, to a comfortable level you know you're not gonna play it uh, maxed out I apologize I'm the other way it's the other way around if you're playing with an external mixer you want it maxed out you also want your your channels to be maxed out um, the um, uh, but if you're uh, not playing with an external mixer you're gonna play it you know wherever your sound volume is comfortable um, next right below here this is the limiter and uh, what this does is it uh, it it's what well, it says right here it says compresses the sound instead of clipping it when it's too loud basically this is to make sure that you don't uh, play too loud for uh, if you're for the output you know, your master outs when you're going into say your amplifier so you, you don't uh, overload your amp send it distortion or, or clip it uh, also like let's say instead of going into an amplifier let's say you're going into the, the, the house sound system you're at a club or you're at a bar and you're going directly into their sound system the house guy is gonna be upset if you pump too hot a signal uh, to him um, so anyway so this just fixes that um, but if you're doing everything correctly and you have all your levels set correctly, this shouldn't even have to work. You sh it should be all right. So uh, next uh, over here, we have uh, record. Now what this does is it lets you set a sample. You can set a sample off of uh, the left deck or the right deck, but this lets you set uh, a, re a sample off of the master. So if you're, instead of, let's say, instead of recording a sample just what's playing on track le uh, your left track if you're saying you're doing a mix or something and you want to record a sample of that uh, you can do that uh, with the record function right here uh, next uh, we have the headphone section uh, we have the volume and then we have the uh, the mix the volume is obviously the volume going into your headphones it's not lit up right now because I don't have the headphones uh, set up uh, right now uh, and then mix if it's all the way to the left the mix is going to uh, show you uh, uh, what's coming out of your your PFLs or your your pre fader levels uh, in this case it's li this one right here is lift up uh, lit up if we were to play the the right deck here then uh, we're gonna be able to hear what's coming out of uh, the left deck I'm sorry the left deck if we, well, we had this both of them lit up we're gonna be able to hear both of them uh, we turn this one off now we're just gonna hear the right and what the mix does is if uh, you move this all the way to the other side now you're going to be able to hear what they call the program uh, and that's uh, the mix that the audience gets to hear so and that can be really important especially if uh, let's say you're uh, in a place where uh, the, the sound gives is you're getting a little bit of a delay when you're hearing it through the, the house speakers because uh, it's hard to mix you know if you're hearing the beats you know even a quarter of a second later, you know, your all your mixes are going to be off. So uh, just do this. You can hear the program, and uh, that'll fix you uh, up right away. Um, down below, we have a master effect. So just click down here. It's the same effects that are uh, in the uh, in the decks. There's uh, nothing different. The only difference is this is going to come out on the master. Uh, just like on the deck players, if you click the little pin right here, now it turns into a window that you can move wherever you want. You don't even have to have uh, this on the virtual DJ screen. You can, if you have a second screen, uh, you can take it right off onto your second screen and park it somewhere else. Um, let's go ahead and close that out. Down here is your whole recording section, and we won't. We'll just touch base on it real quick. Uh, clicking record 
is, is going to do what you think it, it does. It's going to record it to, you know, a WAV file or MP3 file, however you set it up. And uh, the file section lets you choose uh, where, where that's going to save at. And that's handy if you're doing a mixtape, you know, you just want to, uh, you're doing a mashup, you want to record something. Um, uh, that's right there for you. Uh, next one is broadcast. Broadcast, if uh, you're doing, say, like um, uh, you're sending, you want to send your signal out to like a server or to like a, an internet radio show, that's right there. I personally have never used a broadcast. Um, none of these functions are new to Virtual DJ 8. Uh, they're, uh, they've been around for quite a while. Um, but, uh, but here they are. They're nice and out front, and uh, I like that. It's pretty handy. Uh, over here is the mic volume. Um, I have a mic input uh, hooked up, obviously, because I'm talking, and so you can see this jumping up and down as I speak. Um, usually, I encounter a little bit of a delay when I use the microphone and, and virtual DJ, and but because I typically use an external mixer, I also uh, use the, the microphone in the uh, my external mixer versus the microphone that's in virtual DJ. But uh, you can use it; it's it's, uh, it's definitely there and definitely handy uh, to use it. You want to set your your volume, and once you got your volume set, uh, just click on, and there you go. Uh, you get to hear. Um, uh, you'll you'll go through the outputs of uh, virtual DJ. Uh, also, you have here record, so that way, if you wanted to record a sample, um, you could do that off your microphone. In fact, let's try that uh, right now. Let's just click it real quick. The record, test, 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 record, stop, and uh, there it is down there. It, uh, I know you can't see it, but it says mic. And then we could save it as, you know, whatever we wanted. And, uh, there it is right now. We could play it and uh, change change it from a loop, pitch it up, down, whatever we want to do. Anyway, uh, then down here, obviously, we have a crossfader. You guys are all DJs. Yeah, I don't have to tell you what the crossfader does. You know, it's uh, crossfades. Um, but uh, before we get out of the mixer section, this is obviously two deck mode. Let's go to four deck mode. So uh, now, actually, you know what? This is six deck mode. Six deck mode is pretty much like two deck mode, so we're not going to mess with it too much. Uh, the only difference is here it's, you're going to it'll select um, uh, which tracks or, or which decks are going to go on the left crossfader, which ones are going to go on the right crossfader, you know, and you can turn any of them on and off. So, but for the most part, six decks and, and uh, two deck is the same. So, we're gonna go back to four deck. Four deck, you can see it's obviously a lot different. Uh, here, we go back to the master for four deck. Uh, we, we still got our master section right here. Um, if we uh, we got a record section, all that stuff. Uh, the only difference here is that uh, we got four sections, so we can choose what is going to be uh, coming out of the uh, on this side versus what's gonna come out of this side. Uh, and right here, you see this? This is a little menu. Okay, and this lets us pick different things about the mixer. Now, um, some of these are specific to the four decks setup. Uh, in this case, you see this is how your decks are set up. Now, for me, uh, I would, would uh, use one, two, three, four, uh, because that's the way my uh, external mixer is set up. Uh, but uh, there are different setups for it. In fact, uh, a lot of controllers, say like the, um, the Newmark, uh, V7-2, uh, or I'm sorry, NS7-2 uh, is set up like this, 3, 1, 2, 4. So, uh, and that's that's the way they do it. Uh, this is also the level indicators. Uh, instead of, if you don't want it, a VU meter. If you don't know, VU stands for volume unit. Volume unit. Uh, you can also do the output level. Uh, I keep it as VU meter, just handier. And it's the style of cross uh, fader that you want. Full, smooth, which is good for um, scratching, cut which is uh, kind of closer to a scratch, and then obviously your full-on scratch uh, crossfader disabled, where you can turn the crossfader off. And actually, you say, well, why would you want to turn the crossfader off? You want to turn the crossfader off sometimes. Um, because, uh, like, when I play, I usually DJ with the, with the channel faders versus the crossfader. Uh, I do use a crossfader, but not nearly as much as I hit the crossfader. And, you know, sometimes you'll be... Uh, doing something and you'll just accidentally hit that crossfader and you'll say, oh crap, you know, so I, I wish I had it turned off. In fact, uh, one of the mixers I can turn the crossfader off and I, I frequently do. Uh, the other one is hamster uh, and that's just reversed, okay? Uh, the hamster switch, it would just, whatever you have it set up, it's just going to make it backwards. So if we click that, it you know, just now, uh, what, what was left is now going to be right and what was right is now going to be left. Um, they say, well, if for those new DJs that don't know what hamster is, well, um, uh, hamster style is from a, 
a, uh, a DJ crew. They were called the Bulletproof Scratch Hamsters. Uh, they're, they, uh, uh, one of their signatures were they'd like to take the, um, the left deck and put it into their right input, and then their right deck and put it into their left input, and so the, the crossfader was backwards. Uh, because for a lot of scratch DJs, it's, it's, it can be a lot easier if, if that, um, uh, if that crossfader is just backwards, it just feels more natural. And, um, so the hamster style was born. Um, it's, it's, it became, became so popular that they started, uh, introducing that into analog mixers, and then when software came out, you know, it just made it into software. So, uh, and I, I appreciate that they actually call it the hamster switch, you know, and give them that nod versus just calling it a reverse switch. So, uh, so that is our, uh, our four deck master. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go back to our, our two deck mode and we're going to go back just to our mixer section. Now, uh, I talked about gain in another video, so you can go check that out and, uh, and see how that works. Basically, it's just to equalize your, the different tracks. Uh, and then equalizer, you all know what an equalizer is. I don't have to explain that. But one thing I will let you note is that the equalizer, that by default, uh, does not have kills on it. So if you were to uh, take this mid and take it all the way down, it's not a true kill. Uh, now, you can change that if you go to the option settings. And uh, when we do an advanced uh, mixer section video, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. But uh, you can change it so it is a true kill. But by default, it's not. Um, the other cool thing, cool thing, thank you guys at Atomics, is that they put a filter right there, um, uh, right in the mixer, so that way you don't have to go dig for the filter that, you know, everybody's always looking for and assign it a, an effect, or, you know, it's, they, they gave it its own dedicated, uh, knob right in the switch, or I'm sorry, right in, right in the, in the mixer, and, uh, that's pretty handy. Uh, of course, we know what, uh, these do, it's just, uh, uh, crossfader, we know what that is. So I think we pretty well got this nailed down. Uh, the only thing uh, different is uh, this is our VU meter. If we right mouse click on it, we can change that VU meter. We can change the VU meter to show from VU meter to show output levels. But I personally prefer VU. Next, uh, we'll go to four deck mode and we'll look at it. Uh, it's Pretty much the same thing. I know it looks a little bit different, um, but it's, there's just more of the same stuff. Still got your gain control at the top, three band EQ. Here you have your um, your, your channel faders are right there. Uh, you have your filter, and then you have each deck has got you know uh, a PFL button. So and then the only difference is is down here you can choose which side is going to have the, uh, the the fader is going to work for. So you could put say all three of these. Uh, over here and just one over here, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, and then here you have uh, a mixer options. It's the same one. Oh, one thing I missed right here, fake mixer. Don't worry about fake mixer. Fake mixer is actually uh, something for uh, some controllers because some controllers uh, will uh, have an ex built-in external mixer. However, the uh, controls will still send a signal back to virtual DJ and so when you say um, uh, use your well, let, well let's use this uh, for an example uh, I'm right here I am if I was if this controller that I'm using had uh, a built-in external uh, mixer to it uh, when I move the channel fader it's really the ex the analog mixer built into the controller that's doing the work but um, fake mixer just shows you where you're at so this doesn't actually uh, do anything uh, when that's set up, and that's that's something for controllers, you know. And if your controller doesn't have it, don't worry about it. In fact, you know, you don't have to worry about it at all because when you plug in that controller, most of the time that should hook right up. Um, uh, so uh, that's our mixer mode. Uh, nothing special. We're going back to two deck mode. Now we're going to go into video. Um, video also, you know, if you've loaded up a video before, uh, you you've seen what it looks like. Let's go ahead and we're going to throw in a couple. Uh, tracks. Let's see if these will load up. Uh, okay, here's one. Uh, I'll do this other one. Okay, and uh, so if if we uh, play it here, we'll turn us down. Uh, we can see it right here. This is our preview window. Uh, same way over here. If we were to play this one, we can see it over here.
Okay, now if you double click on uh, this window right here, uh, it's going to bring up your master window uh, right there. In case uh, mine jumped over to my, I have a second screen running, and this jumped over to my second screen automatically. So uh, it'll automatically start up, uh, open up this window for you uh, if it's not already open. Um, if you click on either one of these, you can see it, it automatically just selects that. Uh, this here is, uh, this is your audio crossfader, just like normal. Uh, this is your video crossfader, and you can see they move together when you have this link connected. You disconnect it. Now you can control the audio and the, uh, the video uh, independently from one another. But I keep them. I keep them linked so, uh, just because it's, it's more convenient if um, uh, you know, the audio is just matching the, the video. But there are some situations where you, uh, you, you might not necessarily uh, want those to, uh, to sync up. You might want to play, say, a video on the left side that has nothing to do with the song that's playing on the right side. Um, so, but that's what that is. And what Auto does is Auto just uh, does a pretty good job of guessing where you want this video to crossfade to. Uh, here you have transition. These are just all the transitions. A whole bunch of them. Uh, you can play with those. I won't go into detail about them. Uh, you can go play with them. Uh, a, a couple really cool ones. Uh, most of them though are pretty over the top and uh, there's not, you know, I like a simple just fade. You know, the, uh, some of the other ones, they're, they're cool for every once in a while, but just kind of like effects. There's something you want to sprinkle in occasionally just to add a little bit of flavor versus actually, you know, overpowering uh, your audience with them. So, uh, so a, just a good fade is always awesome. And then this is um, video effects and the same thing, just like uh, effects that you would have for your audio. These are things that you can overlay on top of your video. And uh, the one I use most is simply just title, just to uh, list the name of the song. All right, and uh, one thing I want to note here, uh, if you if you move the, the channel faders down, you'll see, let's go ahead and move this all the way to the left. Okay, now you can see the input, let me zoom this in a little bit. The reason it's small like this and you got this big, huge like letterbox around it is because I have the, the video window in kind of an odd shape. I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out. There you go, that's better. Um, uh, is if you fade this down so that you know you're fading down the volume obviously if this will fade to black okay so um, that way your 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 signal is gone uh, and also the other thing that I, uh, I want to show you guys if if you didn't see it uh, there's I have another video out there about your logo that you can put your logo on your video screen so um, so check that out too um, but back to uh, back to our mixer section uh, let's go to four deck mode and look at the video section. It's the same. You'll notice that there's only two here, and uh, all you have to do is just pick which one you're gonna. Uh, the video is gonna be. Let's load up some videos in um uh, in here. Let's see. One there. I'll put one there. And now, uh, if I Switch over here. Okay. Now I got this one. I'm playing deck number four now because I have deck four selected. If I were to go over here and uh, it's the same. Now I'm playing also deck number two. If I select deck number two, now deck number two is playing up here. And uh, that's really the only difference. If you want the whichever deck's going to be assigned to this side, it's going to be whatever you, you select over here. Um, this Catch pre fader levels, you know, your cross fader levels, your link, your auto. Um, so it's all the same. It's just now it's just four. Uh, let's go back to two deck mode and we're going to go to scratch mode. Scratch mode is my favorite mode uh, because I use an external mixer. I don't need to look at the mixer of Virtual DJ and so uh, I just put it into scratch mode. Uh, I'm usually not sc actually scratching very often, um, but uh, I, I, I don't know, I just like seeing. Um, a close-up view of the waveform of the track, you know, scrolling upwards like that. Um, so let's go over this just real quick. We got your gain control, which you've seen before. We got our, our volume faders, uh, PFL buttons, uh, but uh, we got our, our cross fader uh, right there. The um, uh, what's different is uh, right here. We got our zoom, and what this does, this is zooms in the waveform. You click it a few times, see it just it just zooms in. So now uh, when we let's, uh, when we play it, it's just uh, zoomed in more, you know, and it looks like it's going faster. You're just, you're just zoomed in more. 
There's all the differences. And you can uh, zoom in closer, zoom out, you know, whatever's comfortable for you. Uh, the other one is Clone. Clone is very handy if uh, if you are a, a Scratch DJ. Because um, let's let's go ahead and we're gonna put in a. Uh, we'll get out. This is still a video track that's loaded up in here. Let's put in a, a regular track. Okay, we're gonna put some salt and pepper in there. Uh, let's see. About uh, here you go. Some AMG. All right. So let's say you're 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 playing uh, on this deck right here, and you know you, you got a, a good loop going, and um, you wanna let's say you wanna scratch something. Um, uh, you just take it and you hit uh, clone deck. It's gonna load up the exact same song playing at the exact same time. Um, and this is handy, especially if you want to do uh, flip and doubles. Uh, there is a flip and double uh, effect that's in your effect section. Uh, but if if you like to do you know flip and doubles on your own, just take it, grab it off a beat, and then just you know do your flip and double. Um, uh, and then if it if it's off again, you can hit clone again. It syncs you right back up. And then uh, now you can uh, go over here and you can you know. Uh, Go ahead and you can uh, scratch and uh, do whatever, and uh, and then when you're you're done with it, you just turn it off and uh, go back into whatever song. This this song is awesome, or this the clone deck is is awesome. It's real handy. Um, the other one is uh, mute reverse. Now what mute reverse is? It's it's kind of a uh, it, it lets you scratch without the crossfader. It's a short version. So if you were to to turn this on, uh, I know I don't have the volume on uh, for these right now. Um, but if you were to you take it and you hold on to the deck, um, when I go pull it back to do my scratch, it's going to mute it, you know, as if you close the crossfader. And then when I let it go forward again, it's going to uh, open up and uh, you can hear the audio. When I go back, it's going to close it. You're, it'll be on mute, you know, got it. And then so as you as you're doing your scratch, it's basically acting like a, a like it's closing the crossfader for you, and uh, that's what mute reverse uh, does. So and then here you have um, Beatlock, and Beatlock just keeps these decks uh, synced together. So let's go ahead and turn Beatlock on. And so even if uh, if I were to um, uh, take this and stop it, you can see uh, it stops the other deck. It's it's trying to it tries to keep them locked together, and it'll it'll move it a, a little bit forward, but it's gonna it's gonna try and keep these these decks locked to one another so I don't really use the beat lock very much but you know uh, you can play with it and it's there for you so let's go into four deck mode for scratch uh, right here and I love it you got all four of your decks you can see all four of your waveforms right there and uh, you just got your beat lock for all of them your clone deck uh, your your mute reverse you got your your volume faders PFL uh, your mixer option uh, so uh, it's all there. It's just, you know, everything's a little more uh, compressed together, so uh, it can be, you know, if you're not used to seeing it, uh, just hang out with the two deck version for a while, and then once you get to the four deck version, this will be uh, like nothing once you get used to it. Um, the one other thing that I wanted to talk about while we're in here, and that's a, a ghost, um, ghost controls. Let's stop this. Um, if you see right here, see this little square right here? Now what that is is that is where the fader is at on my controller. Okay. Now down here, this is the fader in the software. Now right now, this fader uh, it's, is the master. Okay. So even though my controller is up here, uh, is at the top. Uh, let, you know, let's go to the mixer section. You can see a little bit better. Let's go to two deck mode. There we go. You can see it up here, right there. Um, if we where to uh, we can move this and this is the master whatever we do to this uh, is what happens uh, to our audio and this is just showing us where that is now we can move this too now watch you see it moving yeah I'll, I'll, I'll move the mouse along with it so you can see where it's at it might be hard to see in the video um, but this is um, where it's the hardware fader physically is so if you want to uh, grab if you want to make uh, them connect uh, you just uh, move your fader down to where the software fader uh, is and you can see they lock in and now 
I'm controlling it with the hardware. Uh, the same thing happens with the uh, crossfader because like right now I'm controlling the crossfader with the crossfader on the controller. Now if I take it and manually move it with the mouse uh, over here, let's move that. You can see there's, it's kind of, uh, let me move the mouse along with it so you can kind of see it. That is a ghost crossfader. That is physically the crossfader on my controller. That's moving back and forth, but it's not controlling the sound because it's not synced up with the crossfader on the software. Now, uh, you can change that. Uh, you can go in the options and, and if you don't like that mode, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to slide this all the way over and now, bam, now my controller's got control again. So, and that's just a function, like, let's say, because sometimes I'll just grab the mouse and do something, especially if, like, a, if I'm already, like, let's say I just loaded up a track and I've already got my, my hand on the mouse, I'll just go ahead and click, you know, uh, you know, shift this over, shift it left, shift it right. Um, so, now that we've talked about that, let's go over some of the, um, the some things with the crossfader and with the, um, uh, the channel faders. Um, let's go ahead and move this all the way to the, to the left. I'm going to a right mouse click on this and you see it jumps all the way over as soon as I let it go it jumps back so this is you can use the the right mouse fader as kind of a you know almost like a like a like a scratch and uh, it just jumps from one side to the other so you can you know play with it beat wise and your um, uh, these right here too uh, we'll do the same thing uh, if I if I click it down here and I'll jump it back up. I'm using the right mouse button, not the not the left mouse button, and uh, that'll give me that temporary point that I can change it. Um, if you double click on these, uh, they will reset to the back to center. Now let's double click on this one, and see now if I clicked on it once, it's going to jump to where I click it. If I but if, once it realizes I'm double clicking, it goes right back to center. So let's go over here. I'm going to double click. You're going to see it jump real quick. So the first click is going to move. Second click is going to realize, oh, hey, you're double clicking. You want it to reset. Okay, there we go. So same thing with these. Uh, this one, uh, wherever you click it, it's going to move. You're going to have to, oh, it does not go to the top when I double click it. So, uh, but wherever you click it at, one click will move the, uh, the fader wherever you want it. And uh, also the DQ. If you double click the EQ, I know the EQ goes back to center. Um, and if you right mouse click on it, uh, it will automatically go to the bottom, which, which is mostly a kill, but not a real kill like we talked before. If you want to make a real kill, kill it's in the options section. Um, but uh, if, if you click on right mouse click on it again, it'll go back to zero. So uh, anyway, that is the uh, the mixer section in Virtual DJ. Just kind of a quick overview. Uh, most of the stuff, I mean, it acts like a mixer and a regular analog mixer. So if you're already a DJ and you know how the mixer works, you know, uh, for the most part, you got it. So, but if you have any questions or something that you feel that uh, I didn't uh, talk about, uh, please put it in the comments. Uh, please let me know uh, what you think about this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. Uh, if you really liked it, share it with your friends, put it on YouTube, Twitter, and uh, please subscribe if you want some more videos. And my name is Echo Papa, and I'll talk to you guys later.